Another problem here from MIT Integration B 2018. This is number 18. We have the integral of dx over the square root of x times the square root of x minus x squared. Okay, the first thing, they're kind of overcomplicating it here but by um, writing it this way. What we can do is just write that. All this is is x to the 1 times x to the 1 half. Adding exponents, this is just x to the 3 halves. So let's just rewrite this in a way that we are a little more comfortable with it. The trouble we have now is we don't really want two x's here. Everything, like if we're going to do trig substitution or u substitution, we almost always want to have um, just one x. And so we want to factor something out. Now you may want to factor out the x squared. Um, so the problem with that is when you factor that out, you're just going to have an x to the 1 out here. If we're going to do a u substitution here, if we have a u substitution where our u is a fraction exponent, the du is also going to have a fraction exponent. If the u is an integer exponent, the derivative also is an integer exponent. So what we need to do is factor out this piece. Okay, so here you notice we factored out an x to the 3 halves, just out of the parentheses. Just noticing that if you multiply x to the 3 halves times minus x to the 1 half, you get back a minus x squared. Then the next step is we're going to pull this out of the um, square root, and it's going to be an x. This is going to be when we take the square root of x to the 3 halves, we get x to the 3 fourths. Then when I'm going to rewrite this, I'm going to write this in the numerator as x to the minus 3 fourths, just like a reciprocal. Okay, then from here, now we're in much better shape to try a u substitution. What I'm going to try is let's make this whole thing our u. So we'll say u equals 1 minus x to the 1 half. Then when we take our du, we're going to have minus 1 half x to the minus 1 half dx, and that's not good. And that's kind of a problem because what we want is we want it to look a lot more like our x to the minus 3 fourths. And so let's try this a different way. Okay, so instead of trying to make this whole thing our u, what we can do is aim for the form of 1 minus u squared. We know how to deal with that. So we're saying we want our u squared to be x to the 1 half, and that, that's the case, our u is going to be x to the 1 fourth, right? Just noticing if you square that, you get back to 1 half. Then let's take our derivative of this thing. So our du is going to be 1 fourth x to the minus 3 fourths dx, and that's perfect because that's exactly what we have. Well, not exactly, but we have this piece. We can create the 1 fourth. I'm just going to pencil that in but we'll multiply a four on the outside, so we're not changing the expression, just multiplying by one. And then at this point, we can just finish it off. We know that this is this integral is actually arc sine. So let's rewrite this. We're gonna have four inverse sine of u, and then we'll just do our um, back substitution here. For our final answer, we're gonna have four sine inverse um, x to the one fourth. We'll write it as a fourth root just because plus c and we're done so it's mit integration b 2018 number 18 thanks for watching please like and subscribe and have a great day